What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play. Today, I've got some more Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness going. We're playing as Iraq, which has been pretty interesting so far. This is the second episode of the series. Last episode, we were just working on setting up our country, really. Uh, I've got a nice 33 stack going here, just made up of infantry. They're all chilling in Baghdad, it looks like. Uh, currently, we are allied with Hejaz and Yemen, so what does that mean? Let's take a look. That means here and here. Nice. Um, if we take a look at which great powers are trying to talk some shit to us, let's see. Okay, friendly U uh, USA is friendly, and Ottomans are down to neutral. They were co they were cordial um, just a couple minutes ago. So what I want to do is let's check the relations with USA. I'm only at a plus eighty five, so. <clears throat> Let's bum. Let's work on bumping that up. That'll increase the chances that they put me into their sphere. <clears throat> Once I get into the U.S. sphere, that offers me obviously a lot of protection in the region because I've got the Ottomans to the north that are just like breathing down my neck, basically. And then we've got uh, the Persians here to the east, allied with Egypt. So I'm sort of surrounded by their allies. And Nejid here um, would be a great target, except. <clears throat> they're allied with Persia. So that's pretty awesome. Not if I uh, go to war against Nejid, then I think uh, Persia could possibly jump in. Possibly jump in on me there. And uh, so we'll see. Uh, we can, while we're uh, trying to figure that piece out, let's go up here and do a reform. Uh, what is the one that people want the absolute freaking most? Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It is weighted universal voting rights. So we'll, we'll go ahead and grab that. And then I can build two ships for a Navy. That's pretty sweet, I guess. Yeah, so if Nejid wasn't allied with Persia, I would be like moving in, you know. We could take this big chunk here. I don't think there's anybody. Let's see what the terrain is like. It's all desert, basically. But it would look cool on the map. It would look cool on the political setting map. You know what I'm, you know? Just as important. All right, so let's go back over to USA and increase relations there. Up to 115, nice. Abu Dhabi's just sitting there chilling. He's got a bunch of allies too, Makran. Allied with Afghanistan, that's interesting. And then you start getting over into India here. Uh, Britain still has a, a huge, huge influence over there. Oh, we've got a war that's broken out. Let's see. French liberation of uh, Franche Comte. That's probably just butchered that. We want free trade. So you've got France, Austria, Papal States, and Sardinia Piedmont versus Germany, UK, Denmark, and Sweden. And look at this. Uh, the German side has 390... 390 military power. So what does that mean? Dude, I think the French are about to go down. Let's see. Uh, the Ottomans did not jump in. If the Ottomans jumped in, then I could possibly... Mm, I don't know, that'd be really risky. I was going to say, hey, let's, you know... Let's go ahead and try to invade the Ottoman Empire. Actually, that would be disastrous. Completely disastrous. 24% want to be able to have meetings, public meetings. So, I guess that's pretty cool. Yeah, we want jingoism for sure. That helps me, like, uh, add war goals, like when we go to war with folks. Egypt is now only allied with Persia. If Persia, would, like, would jump into a war or something like that, that would be great. They have... 8 military power. I have 11. But if we take a look back over... Okay, nice. I just got empiricism, so... Got a humongous research bump. And... So what does that mean for us? Well, let's see. Um, we're doing okay on money. We've got 14k in the bank, which is a lot for a small country like me. Hmm. 
Choices, choices. Let's go ahead and get the uh, muzzle-loaded rifles, get the military up to, up to date. Supply limit, we might want to get that up too because I... You know, you're in the desert and shit. Like, you're gonna... You're gonna have guys falling out all the time. Uh, let's take a look at the trade tab. Not a whole lot going on over there. Wah, wah, wah. You've got the Dutch over here. Siam. Alright, uh, just want to look back at this. Really quickly to see if the USA is still... Yeah, they're still... Sweating me. I want to get in their sphere. Increase relations. Oh, that's interesting. I think the U.S. has Japan in their sphere currently. Well, shit. That's crazy. <clears throat> okay, nice. We've got uh, antiseptics going. So that's going to help uh, in a potential future war. Look at this. Uh, Germany and Austria duking it out. And then you've got UK that's invaded Austria here down in, like, the Dalmatia. Dalmatia region, I think is what it's called. Uh, Money-wise, let's see, I've got taxes bumped up pretty high. Military spending. Let's go ahead and max that out. And because I want this population, yeah, I want these soldiers, I want those to continue to get bigger. And what's my... Oh, yeah, I'm encouraging clergymen to help out my um, my research rate there. So, nice. Currently 23rd in the world. I've only got like 41 points overall, and you can see Two Sicilies has got 200. So we're quite a ways away from being like a, a great power. Absolutely. Not even close. Um... No projects going. I've got two factories open and running. And we've also got a railroad. Railroads are going. You know what? I'm going to get the experimental railroad next after we, f we finish up with the muzzle-loaded rifles. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. Nice. Okay. Mm, yeah. Experimental railroad. That should go pretty quickly, too. Just because it's an older technology. It'll at least allow me to build them, hopefully. Yeah. Currently no infrastructure. I somehow have four industrial points, though, even though I only have two uh, factories. And I think that's because, like you can see right here, like it's four in my overall score. I think that's because I got some of those free railroads last episode. Um... By westernizing so it wasn't technically free I guess it cost research points but still we will take it empiricism constitutionalism oh my god all of these hard hard vocabulary words are choking me out I'm just kidding production okay so things going night organization regain rate so that's good for my army. I'm only got them like halfway loaded up right now. Okay, we can now build a railroad. Sweet. Um, business banks. Yeah. I'm actually going to go with those next. And the reason is because I want to be able to jack my uh, supply limit all the way up. When we go to war. Let's see what's going on around us. Uh, Persia, no... Damn, Egypt. And Egypt is also being fought over... Wow. You've got USA, France, and UK all trying to get a piece of that. Uh, which remembers... Yes, look at this, guys. We finally got it. We are now protected by the USA. So that, uh, that means they're in my sphere. Will they take an alliance from me? Let's take a look. I doubt it. They will not accept we can get there though. It was only a minus 16 overall value. So if we <clears throat> bump this up to a plus 200, they should take an alliance from us pretty quickly. Increase relations again. Boom, boom. Nejid, what are you doing, man? 
See, these alliances with Persia just really mess me up, man. Really mess me up. Persia, who are you? Is any are any great powers going after you? No. Cordial, we've got UK after them. <clears throat> Usually Russia's in there. But Russia's not even a great power. Wow. What the hell happened to Russia? Ranked number 10 in the world, so they're not even close. Who's number 9 in the world? Belgium? No. Spain? No. Huh. <clears throat> Japan? Is it you, Japan? I think it is. It's Japan. Austria has decided to join the current crisis on the side of France. Alright. No skin off of my back. Alright, so once these business banks finish up, we'll bump the speed up just a little bit. Um, What else? I want to look at... Oh, we just finished a... Uh, Okay, so that crisis just pieced out like no, nobody's business. We're, we just finished a naval base over here, so that's awesome. If we could ever become a secondary power, we could maybe try to get in on the colonization stuff, but we're number 23. I, I think that's it's a pretty big gap, I would assume, to getting into secondary power, power set status. You have to be, you know, number 16, so we're like seven slots away from that all right so we just got the business banks awesome uh, let's go with the inorganic chemistry actually I just want to make sure that if we do attack somewhere that none of my forces die in the desert oh we've got Egypt at war with the Ottomans oh wow it's everybody versus the Ottomans right now uh, gain one consciousness. Ooh. Factory cost improved. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to pause it really quickly because it's like all of my buddies down here versus hmm. Egypt versus Egypt, man. I mean, can we take something? They, they're no longer allied with Persia. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see if I can uh, fabricate a claim. Demand concession. But let's take a look at this really quickly. Uh, okay, so now you can see over here, you've got a couple different regions that can potentially come out of that little chunk, a little chunk of Egypt, so. Let's go ahead and demand the concession. We'll get that started. But wait, here's the other question. Liberation. I wonder if they had cores on there. You've got, this is ultimately, uh, Ethiopia, it's really, is ultimately going to come in here and try to take this away from Egypt. But my my biggest concern is, Oh, never mind. None of the great powers have gone after Egypt. So this is a totally, at this point, this is uh, this is going to be a pretty uh, safe, at least uh, to get the Casus Belly going. But I'm going to need the Ottomans and their buddies to finish up beating up on them. So when I come in, it's just like easy peasy. Okay, I lost uh, Hedge Jazz as a <laughs> lost them as an ally, and so I still have Yemen though, but I am protected by the U.S. So that is best news ever. Oh, look at USA here, crushing on Mexico. Boost that up to 190 while I was thinking about it. And let's do a test really quickly on the income. Yeah, I can totally max out my troops and still make some money. Oh, the Casus Belly is going super slow, but we did just get it. So, all right. If we look at the current war with Ethiopia. Man, they're trying to take two provinces away, it looks like. 
if we go over here to yeah interesting let's see if the usa will take an alliance with us no not quite damn i don't think we're gonna make it i also think we can build yep we can build another build another army guy there that'll bring us up to thirty-six thousand in the region <clears throat> which will be that'll be pretty big i think so we do have the Cassus Belly against Egypt, but what I was waiting for was this other war to end. And it looks like uh, looks like they're getting there. So what region do I want? Um, I was thinking, I was looking at this earlier. <clears throat> You've got Syria here, and uh, Damascus has the highest population. I've got 450,000 people in my country. Like, that would, you know, that would be a pretty big ad for me. So <clears throat> we'll go to Egypt. And we're going to declare war. Yes, we are. Call the allies. <laughs> My allies are already at war with Egypt. And that's where we're actually going to end the episode, folks. I'm going to leave this on a cliffhanger. Next episode, we're going to go to war with Egypt. Stick around. See what happens. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you've enjoyed this content. And we'll catch you again next time, folks.